Hi, good morning students. Welcome to today's English class. Today we're going to focus on vocabulary and also we're going to make a reading. Okay, the vocabulary of today is focusing on sites and buildings. We're going to have, for example, theater, art gallery, museum, square, castle, tower, and this is a tower, torre, castle, in this case, square, is similar to a building, but it's, the structure is going to be different. We're going to have palace, bridge, zoo, market, stadium. Now we have some popular and also known places, like for example, we have the Big Bang in London, in this case, the Burj Al Arab in Dubai, it is located in Dubai, Golden Gate Bridge, this is in San Francisco, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, Chris Rutenberg, in, it is located in Brazil, this is a famous place, the Great Wall of China, the Gran Muralla China, a phoenix statue in Egypt and the Stonehenge in the UK. This is also a famous place because of the of the positions of the stone. It's uh, a little it's um it's a mystery in other words. Okay. Okay, so perfect. Let's remember that we're going to focus on vocabulary. Today we're going to work on that kind of words. Okay, so in this activity we have to listen carefully. Uh, we have to write the number according to the word that the audio say. Okay, let's listen and write the number. 4D. See this vocabulary. Listen and number. 1 to 11 1 castle 2 zoo 3 tower 4 theater 5 square 6 Market seven art gallery eight museum nine palace ten stadium eleven bridge Perfect, good job. Now remember to listen carefully, okay? Now let's continue on the next activity. Now in this activity we have just to look at the title and also the pictures because we're gonna choose what it's gonna be the main topic of this reading. ¿Cuál va a ser el tema principal de esta lectura? Okay? Tenemos que en esta ocasión, eh, de acuerdo a las imágenes, sacar una idea. Tenemos. Museums in London. Let's show this. Interesting places in London. Buses in London. So, and they say, see all the sites of London with non-stop bus stores. So, they're talking about places. So, the right answer is going to be letter B. Because you're not talking about just museum. And also, the, this reading is not about buses. This is about places, okay? So, now, let's read together and uh, listen because we're gonna uh, complete some exercises, okay? Let's listen. Two, read. A, listen, listen, and read. What is the text about? See all the sights of London with... Non-stop bus tours. Do you like art? 
Well, visit the National Gallery in Trafalgar Square. Next stop, Buckingham Palace. This is the home of the Queen of England and her family. You can visit the palace and also walk around Green Park. It's next to the palace. Okay, perfect. So let's pay attention to the main topic. In the first part of in the first place also, this is focusing on art. You have to visit on this case uh, the National Gallery. Where is it? It's in Trafalgar Square. Okay, the National Gallery. Let's remember that that point. The next stop is in Buckingham Palace. Okay, this is the home of the Queen, La Casa de la Reina of England and her family. You can visit other palace and walk around the Green Park. Aquí hay un famoso parque que es el Parque Verde. The Green Park is next to the palace. Recordemos esos detalles. Now let's continue. Let's listen again. And also read him. For an amazing view of London, take a ride on the London Eye. At 135 meters, even Big Ben looks small. Next stop, the Tower of London. It's got a very long and interesting history. Today, it's a museum, and you can visit some of the towers. There is also a great view of Tower Bridge. Covent Garden Market is a very popular place in London, with lots of visitors every year. There are different shops and restaurants there, so you can go shopping or have lunch. Our last stop is the West End. There are lots of theatres and cinemas there. London is a great place to have fun. Okay, excellent. So which one is the number three? This is the London Eye. So it's at 135 meters. Okay. Even Big Ben looks small. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Que tenemos una gran vista. This is the London Eye. Es su nombre. Es una gran vista. Es un tipo un carrusel. Y que... Nos muestra prácticamente la ciudad de Londres que hace que prácticamente eh, incluso el Big Ben luzca más pequeño. Como no es así. The next stop is in the Tower of London. Ok. It, this place has a long and interesting history. Now, this is a museum. This is a museum. And you can visit and also know the towers. The next stop is... Open Garden Market, okay? En este lugar, ¿qué se puede hacer? This is a popular place in London, okay? ¿Qué, qué hay en este lugar? ¿Qué hay en el Open Garden Market? There are different shops and restaurants, okay? So here we have shops and restaurants. You can go shopping or have lunch. And the last stop is the West End, okay? We come also aquí, there are a lot of theaters and cinemas. Okay, in the West End, theaters and cinemas. In the Covent Garden Market, there are different restaurants and shops. You can shop in a half lunch. And in the London Eye, you can, you can have an amazing view of London. And in the Tower of London, this is a museum to know the history about this place. Okay, now let's make the exercise. Okay, so we have to complete. We have number one, the, is in the Trafford Square. ¿Qué se ubicaba en el Trafford Square? Recordemos, era, the National is one of the first place. Is the National Gallery of Art in this case. The Trafford Square era uno de los primeros lugares. The Green Park, el Parque Verde, is next to, era la Casa de la Reina. Let's remember, ¿cómo se llamaba? Is next to. In this case, the Buckingham Palace. There is an amazing of London from the London Eye. ¿Qué obteníamos the London Eye? There is an amazing view. There is an amazing view. Hay una vista maravillosa. You can see it from the Tower of London. What is going to be in this place? You can see the Tower Bridge from the Tower of London. Number five, there are a lot of shops shops in the covent garden market 
en este lugar se iba para dos cosas, para comer y para compras. Entonces, there are shops and restaurants in this case. There are a lot of aunts in the West End. West End era el último lugar que encontrábamos dos cosas. Encontrábamos eh, teatros y también cine. Entonces, ¿cómo decíamos esas palabras? Teatro, cine, teatro, there are a lot of theaters and cinemas. Ok, cinemas. That's perfect. Let's continue. Now, in this case, we have a vocabulary activity. We have to complete according to the words. Ok, let's pay attention. You can go shopping. Go shopping in the... ¿Dónde puedes ir de compras? To the zoo. Popular. That's not, that doesn't make sense. The stadium? Not exactly. You can't go shopping in the market. So this is going to be the market. There are lots of animals. Animals in the where? In the museum? Not. In the stadium? That's impossible. If in the zoo. There are a lot of animals in the zoo. Football. It's a very sport in Brazil. It's a very, in this case, we have to use an adjective. It's a very popular, okay? It's a very popular sport in Brazil. You can see works of art in art galleries and in museums too, okay? Museums and art galleries, you can see art. I go to the every Saturday and watch my favorite football team. To watch your favorite football team. Soccer, let's focus on this. You go to the stadium. Perfect. Cowder Castle is one of the Scotland's famous, in this case, famous sites. Sites, vistas, panoramas. And the last one. Up the Tower of London can enjoy the great view of Tower Bridge. In this case, visitors. Visitors of the Tower of London and enjoy the great view. Pueden disfrutar la maravillosa vista. Okay, so here we have one of the last exercise. We have in this case also match uh, using the numbers and also looking at the pictures, okay? So let's try to focus on this. We have square. What is going to be the square? Square, which one is a square? This one, it's a square, so it's gonna be this number six. Palace, we have number two, number eight, seven. What is the palace? The palace is gonna be number two, you know, it's a palace. The castle, simple. So, which one, eight or nine? It's gonna be. Eight in this case, the castle is the whole place. The zoo, so simple. Which one is the zoo? In this place, we have animals, so it's gonna be number four. Stadium, you can play soccer, you can watch your favorite soccer team. It's number one. Bridge, this is a bridge. Tower, in this case, the tower is gonna be number nine. A museum. Where is a museum? This is a museum. Queen. Who is the queen? Number three. You can look at this lady. The theater. Which one is going to be the theater? Number five. This, this. These are masks, actually. And the last one. The market. It's similar to the mercado. The market is the number ten. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to be all for today. Thank you for your attention. We're going to continue working on the next class. Please take it a lot. Bye.